All right, so the week has been football heavy, but we start with cricket on this midweek edition of the Sports Max Zone. West Indies women late last week wrapped up a successful tour of Pakistan, sweeping the ODI series 3 0 before securing a 4 1 victory in the five match T20 series. It was a good team effort for the West Indies to secure the series, ably led by skipper Haley Matthews who topped the stats with an aggregate of 530 runs and 13 wickets across the eight matches. Her exploits in the T20 series specifically helped her retain the number one spot in the world rankings for all-rounders. And she jumped a third in the batting rankings. Matthews is also the world's fifth-ranked bowler in T20 cricket, which means she's now sitting inside the top five in all three ranking categories. Haley Matthews, she joins us this afternoon. Haley, welcome to the Sports Max Zone. I know you're not feeling too well, so I want to thank you first of all for taking the opportunity to chat with us. Yeah, no problem at all. And I always love being on your Sports Max Zone, so thanks for having me again. Yeah, Haley, I, did I ever tell you that we have a picture of you on the walls at our new building here? <laughs> that's my first time hearing it. You've got to tell me what picture that is. Yeah, it's really beautiful. It's actually painted on the Sportsmax office, the walls of our office. I'll send, I'll take a picture and send it to you. But it just speaks to Haley. you know, the impact that you've had on so many around the world looking at you. Uh, let's start by reflecting on the Pakistan series. It's as if, Haley, you can do no wrong, like none, none at all right now. <laughs> well, uh, I think... For me, coming off a really good 2023, um, this being the first series that we would have had for the year, I just kind of wanted to get off to a really good start. And I feel as though every time I step up to the crease, I do want to take that responsibility and spend a lot of time at the crease, which is exactly what I tried to do in that first ODA. And I was fortunate enough to be able to back through the entire innings. And I think I was just able to set the tone for myself with that one and take it on throughout the rest of the series. Yeah, and I think I have to admit, based on what I saw, as much as you dominated, you got assistance from the crop of players around you. You had Stefani Taylor stepping up, of course, Rashada, um, the bowlers as well, Haley. They really ensured that they tried to make your job easy. Yeah, I think the bowlers played probably the most crucial role um, throughout this series. I think no matter what was on the board, um, or if we bowl first, they were able to go out there and continuously hit our KPIs, um, continuously restrict Pakistan to very, very gettable totals and then defend anything that we were able to put up on the board. So um, I think they were able to go out there and kind of ease the, back, the pressure off the batters in a lot of games and um, having have us go in pretty comfortable situations um, when we do go to bat. Yeah, and one of the things I tend to do is whenever I interview players, Haley, I know you're a star when it comes to your numbers, but I always ask, I'm like, how is it working alongside your skipper, Haley Matthews? And I'm yet to hear anybody say it's been difficult. As a matter of fact, many of the girls, they feel as if you genuinely are a really good person and, of course, you impact their game. I've gotten responses like, you know, you help them become a better player, a better person. How do you feel knowing that your team is willing to, of course, go out there game after game? I know Karishma for sure, because whenever I talk to her, it's as if, you know, she's willing to go to war for you. Yeah, well, I think it's something respect goes two ways um, as well as support. And I think one thing for sure myself and the management staff have been trying to do is just support the girls at every juncture. Um, cricket is a sport where you're probably going to fail a few more times than you perform. Um, and we want to make sure, myself included, that the girls know that we got their backs no matter the performances and uh, we give them all the confidence in the world to not only go out there and play, but to go out there and perform as well and to be the best version of themselves. And I think a lot of that showed throughout the last series, um, giving Shemaine Campbell that responsibility at number three. And she kind of took it with two hands. I, was, I think it was the most consistent series she would have had in the world. I think the way Afi Fletcher came back and bowled, um, the same Krishma. 
I think in those first few games, the, her first ODA probably didn't go the best, and just the way that she was able to bounce back to the rest of the series was so good to see winning that first T20 for us as well. So I think there's so many examples of it, and it kind of just shows that we're trying to create that um, massive support system within the dressing room, and I, th I have no doubt that it's just going to bring out the best in each and every one of the girls. Yeah, Haley, you know, when you were playing a starring role in the 2016 T20 World Cup for the West Indies. You were still a teenager. A lot has happened since then, but there is a, a detection that there's a lot more maturity in your game now because the talent has always been there. But I want to use the or attach the word maturity to your game at the moment. Um, how would you respond to that? Yeah, I'd say 100%. Um, I think that came about with experience as well. Experience from playing all over the world and I guess getting the opportunity to learn how to build an innings and put one together. But at the same time, for sure, I could definitely say that having the captaincy uh, did change my thinking around uh, taking up the responsibility at the crease. I think obviously before I was playing, and I played for so many years within the team as the youngest player. So I always had Steph around, always had DeAndre around, and um, I did try to take on some responsibility. And I think I really started to see that come about in the 2022 World Cup before I was the captain. However, I think since the captaincy, I've just tried to take it to a whole new level and um, really set an example for the girls, for them to follow. I think uh, if I can set my standards higher at the top of the order, it's only going to help their standards to raise and, and hopefully pull a lot of them around as well. Yeah. Um, Haley, I want to take you back about 15 or 16 years. I'm not sure how much of this you may mm. remember, but when I was living in Barbados, I lived a stone's throw away from where you lived. And I remember passing your home sometimes and watching you, or, or seeing you, let me not say watching you, seeing you <laughs> uh, play cricket in your driveway with your, with your brother, and, and I think your dad probably chipped in. How much of that um, period do you remember, and how much did you actually love cricket at that age? Because you were probably eight, nine years old. Yeah, well, I did speak to my dad about it at the time, and I remember I started playing cricket um, purely just being outside in the yard. Uh, my father being outside with my brother, and one day I told him pretty much that I wanted to join, and I think it was history from then on. Um, I fell in love with the game instantly, and from the from the time I was 10 years old, I knew I wanted to be a professional cricketer, so um, fortunately I made it in the end, but yeah, purely from the love of the game at such a young age, it's something that inspired me, and I guess helped me to become better, seeing that I was able to start from such a young age uh, and grow from then as well. And from what I can recall, it would it would have been a hard ball that you were playing with in your in your in your driveway. And at, as a little girl, you would think that you know a lot of girls would have been afraid of the hard ball at that time. <laughs> can you can you address that? Yeah, I feel as though I was just pretty fearless. Um, I just loved the sport of cricket, and I wanted to get into every facet of it. I remember playing at Wanderers Cricket Club as a young girl, and starting off with tape ball and. I think I actually remember the day um, Andrew Hart it was. I was at cricket practice. I was about eight years old, and he just took me over out to the table section and put me into the hard ball with the boys and said, you ready for this? Um, and once again, it was kind of just history from there. I had no fear. I was full of confidence. Um, as a young girl, don't know where I got it from, but just full of confidence to go out there and enjoy the game of cricket. Yeah, well, I know one of the big assignments that the team has this year is a T20 World Cup coming up in Bangladesh in, in October, Haley. Um, you've got England, Scotland, South Africa, and the host Bangladesh as the group that you will be um, tackling. How do you feel about the T20 World Cup coming up in October? Um, well, several months after the men's T20 World Cup happens in the Caribbean and, and the West Indies, but a pretty important year this is for your, your girls, isn't it? Yeah, for sure. I think we can take a lot of confidence from the series we just had against Pakistan and our dominance there. And uh, we obviously still go to play Sri Lanka and have so much that we can take from that as well. But I think looking at the grouping, um, we do have a pretty good shot at making it out to that or into that playoff section. And obviously cricket is a game that plays on a day at the same time. Every team is going to come challenging us. And the thing about women's cricket is that it's getting so much closer now. Um, you know, the, the good teams are getting much closer to the lower-ranked teams, and um, you're starting to really see that competitiveness in every single game. So I think it's one where everyone's going to have a really good shot and a really good opportunity, and we're definitely one of the teams going for those two spots at the end of that group stage.
Yeah, and can you talk quickly, Haley, about the preparation for the T20 World Cup? Because I know in the past year you've had a change in your, 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 your coaching setup and um, you have a few months now before the T20 World Cup. Uh, what is the preparation going to be like? And I know you're going to have some camps and so on because CWI now ensures that when you have major assignments like that, there's time put aside to have camps to, to get the girls sharp. What's the, what's the preparation phase looking like? Yep, so we had the Pakistan series. We're off to Sri Lanka in about three weeks' time again. Uh, we're going to have a camp there and then into that series as well. And um, Then I believe we come back home right after that. And I think CPL is lined up for August, I believe it is as well. So yeah. the girls will get a little bit more. Yeah, the girls will get a little bit more time home. And then I think right back into a camp, getting everyone ready for CPL. Obviously, it's quite a short tournament. So if we can get the girls in beforehand um, just to do some work I think that'll be really good prep for them um, hopefully we can see some big performances and our local girls really stepping up in the CPL competition as well that will probably give them a massive confidence boost going into the World Cup too seeing that so many of the players international players that are going to be at the CPL will probably be re representing their countries in the World Cup as well. Yeah, and Haley, I know you've been busy beating up Pakistan, but did you get a chance to look at the men's T20 World Cup squad? And what do you think about it? Do you think this team has what it takes to win a World Cup again for the men? I did, and I do. I think one thing you can never deny about the West Indies team is that they have a lot of power, and they have a lot of match winners um, right from the top of the order straight down to the bottom. So I think... Home court advantage gonna play a big role for us, but at the same time, I think anywhere in the world with the amount of superstars we have within that team, and once again, the amount of match winners. The thing about T Twenty cricket is it takes one player to win a game on a lot of days. So, with the amount of match winners within our team, that sets up. I think we do definitely have a really big shot at bringing it home. Yeah, Haley, I don't want to keep you too long because I know you're not feeling well and I can hear it in your voice, but that's what <laughs> makes you a real, real champion. So we want to thank yeah. you again for stopping by on the Sports Max soon. I really hope you feel better soon and we'll talk. Uh, thanks for having me again, guys. Yeah, Haley Matthews there lands the skipper of the West Indies women's team and it's yeah. always such a pleasure chatting with her, yeah. such a pleasant um, lady. And the truth is, the fact that she came on the show she has also a lot of respect for us, so I yeah. appreciate it. Yeah, and you know, one of the things that I, I so much like about this job, Mariah, is the fact that you see talent just grow over the years. Well, you're lucky you got to see her from eight. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying, but at the time I wouldn't have known that she would have reached here because I, she lived in just in Pine Gardens. I, it was probably 40 meters from where I was living. Okay. So when I was driving by her, because her dad played cricket in yeah. Barbados for Pickwick, and I would see them playing in, in the driveway a lot of times with dad and Haley and her, her brother, just little children. And I remember seeing her, but I, at that time, obviously, I wouldn't have known that <laughs> Haley Matthews would have become Haley Matthews. So, you know, when I look back on those times, it's just a part of the beauty of our job when you see um, personalities in their embryonic years. You, you're not sure where it's going to go, but then they become stars. And you remember seeing them as, <laughs> as children. And I guess that ages me a bit as well. But Lucky it's, you. It's, part, it's, it's part of why we love what we do. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, always a pleasure chatting with Haley Matthews. We're going to take a quick break and come back. We have a lot more to talk here on the Sportsbank Zone.